Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can create our first workflow. <clears throat> so anywhere you work in SAP, uh, ERP, NIS, for HANA, ECC, whatever you are, if you have SAP, the customer is running, you will have workflow and you will have workflows that you have to <clears throat> develop. Okay, sometimes standard workflows work, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time, it doesn't fulfill exactly the customer need. So you might have to use reuse the standard workflow component into a custom workflow. So let me tell you how you can create your first workflow. This workflow is related with material master, simple workflow. Okay, so first thing is MM03 I go. And here you have a material and I go to basic data. And here, from here I'll go to workflow and I'll click on archive workflow. The first step is I'll get the business of this is my first step so this workflow is nothing but what it does it's uh, it's a workflow where <clears throat> we will trigger it manually okay from the standard workflow from the standard transaction and it will give some messages or something okay so that's the that's the process that we are going to build okay first thing is we are going to a transaction pfpc okay that's the transaction where you create your workflow you select workflow template and here we will just put material and okay so we'll just put the name that's fine and first work okay and here we can give uh, some description workflow for material okay and here after this we go to container <coughs> and here you go to you will create a container element. This is very important. Okay. So once we create the container element, so the container element will be of the business object that we got from MS03. So here we'll just put MS03. Here it was, I think, business object was, what was it? I'll just copy from here and I'll paste it. Here you go to properties. <clears throat> you go to import export you can make it mandatory if you want you, it doesn't need to so we'll now click on confirm after that okay here what we are going to do we want this to be triggered from the from the uh, mm03 screen so what i'll do i'll go to additional data agent assignment and i'll click on click save yes global object and here we'll click attributes. I'll go to general task and you'll click on transfer. That's it. And I'll go back, hit the save button. That's it done. Now I'll go to workflow builder. And in the workflow builder, we'll put a decision task. Okay. Uh, so here I'll click on right click here and click create. And here I'll select user decision. Okay, so the moment I get user decision, you'll see something will show up. And here you can see display material. Okay, now here I can give an ampersand. So whatever I'm putting parameter here, it will be shown here. So if you add two ampersand, you can have two. So here what I'll do is I'll click on material, and here you can see now I can get the material number and so display material and in the expression i can put any users or something so for for now i can just select the blue uh, initiator okay which is me workflow initiator <clears throat> and here you can say we will say display uh, material material and uh, none of the save i will just say uh, Suppose I want to say, um, what can I say? I will say, um, close work. And you click close workflow. Okay. Here, we'll just close it. And here, we'll click on this button. The moment I click, this has been created. And here, what we are going to do is we have display material is that right <clears throat> so what i am going to do is i can create a task okay so i'll just create a task create activity 
and here I'll just click create task and here I'll just give a name and again your naming convention may be heavily different okay uh, based on your naming convention you just you create the material so that's it done and we'll just create this and we'll create this and here we'll create and here this is the business object and here I'll try to give a method the method would be suppose I want display right so I can click on display and so suppose I want to click display and I'll save it okay and it's a local object so this material has been created now yes let's click on this and we click on save yes <coughs> and here we will do a binding so we will not click here anything like this what I'm going to do is we'll click on this material and here we can say this object ID okay this is the binding this is very important so here you can see the object ID and here we have material and that's it we, this should be enough now what we are going to do we click this okay I made a mistake here I need to put an expression so which would we need w user so here i'll make this wf initiator after that i click on this display material i click on attributes i click it general task so that i get this item okay if you don't put general task this will this will be created but it will not be in anyone's user inbox okay so now i have activated this okay let's Let's see how our workflow works. Okay, now I'm going here. I'll click here. I'll go to workflow. Start workflow. So here you can see first workflow. We just created. We click on start. Okay, and. So we hit the start workflow you can see display materials this is our first workflow we created we click display materials and here now it shows see it takes me to mm03 screen and this this way you created your first workflow so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a great